Picture this. You have 2 minutes and 40 seconds left in the biggest game of your life, the Euro League Championship Finals. You're up by 3 with less than 3 minutes to go. So what do you do? You pull up and hit a floater from the 3 point line. Well, snap back to reality, that was actually done this weekend by a player named Luka Doncic. He plays for the Real Madrid, uh, a, a team in the Liga ACB. He's been playing since the age of 16. He's the third youngest player to ever do, do it at the age of 16 years, 2 months, and 2 days. Today, I'm here to talk about Luka Doncic, who he is, his career and stats, his strengths and weaknesses as a basketball player, how the Mavs could possibly orchestrate uh, drafting him this season, and the impact their rookies had on teams. The first point we're going to talk about, Luka Doncic's career and stats. Like I said earlier, he came into the league at the age of 16 years, 2 months, and 2 days, making him the third youngest, but right behind who you, name you probably heard of is Rookie Rubio, the point guard for the Utah Jazz who came in at 14, which is as crazy as that is. Luka Dalingic has had a very successful career in his young age. He just recently won the EuroLeague Championship, he won the EuroLeague MVP, and he has been all EuroLeague, uh, all EuroLeague first team the last two seasons. He's a six foot seven shooting guard with the handles of a point guard, the shots of a shooting guard, and the body frame of a small forward. He's 19 years old and averaged 16 points, 4.8 rebounds a game, 4.3 assists a game, all within 26 minutes. That's very impressive if you have to ask me. We're moving on to his strengths and weaknesses. His strengths are the mid-range game, the layup, the floater, and the three-point shot. He's got a large body and can power his way through in, enough, as well as the finesse to get past the defender and be able to pass out as well. His core vision and ball handling is astounding. His solid body at such a young age is very... Uh, hopeful for a team. He's maturing us to already win a championship at his age and not only win it, be the star player for them. But unfortunately, as high as you can go, there's always going to be negatives. His weaknesses can be broken down into a few things. His lack of quickness and lateral speed, which will have a gigantic impact on defense. His limited ISO due to his lack of quickness and speed and his shot form consistency. He is Continued to shoot well at 45%, but has had issues in maintaining the correct shot form at all times. The NBA, they'd like to have you be very repetitive. Now that we've talked about where he's been as a team and who he is as his strengths and weaknesses, I'm going to talk about how my favorite team, the Dallas Mavericks, could possibly land him. The Mavs this year had the fifth pick in the NBA draft. Unfortunately, Luka Dognic is predicted to go fourth at the very latest. In order for the Mavs to get him, something, uh, something crazy must happen for the teams in front of them to draft someone else. More likely, though, they have to trade for the Grizzlies, trade up to the Grizzlies with a package that would involve Chandler Parsons and some cash to be able to move up to the fourth pick. Or they create a deal with uh, the Sacramento Kings where they send Harrison Barnes and some cash as well to move up to the second pick. In order to land Donnick, the Mavericks have to be very aggressive in the trade trades they make in order to move up in the draft. And finally, we're going to just talk about the impact rookies have had. All of y'all have probably heard of Donovan Mitchell, the infamous rookie that got in a, a rookie in off contest with Ben Simmons this year. Donovan Mitchell was came out of nowhere. He wasn't expected to do much or do anything, but he took his team to the second round of the playoffs as a rookie and being the star player and focal point of the entire team. You might have also heard of Jason Tatum, the small forward from the Boston Celtics. He immediately moved in after the injuries of Gordon Hayward and Kyrie Irving and continued them all the way to the conference to the to the playoffs where they were actually very competitive even without their two star players and all of y'all have definitely heard of the one and only the hick from the slick the slick the hick from the french lick larry bird he turned his 29 win team boston to a 61 team 61 win team in his first season in the nba now that we've talked about all this we'll continue to wrap it up even though most rookies are small and have weaknesses in their games Rookies can also have a tremendous impact on their team right out the gate. It's my hope that the Mavericks will draft him, but who knows? Luka Dognich has a bright future ahead of him in the career and will do very successful. Thank you and have a great day.